Hello, hello, my friends. It's hard to believe, but I'm actually ahead of the curve this time, and I am sharing with you my September candle empties. Now, I know we still have a whole other week left of September, but for me, I am actually taking a much needed trip out of town this week. And so I need to film my September candle empties because I will be back in October, but I'm done. I'm done for the month of September pretty much in home fragrance. And so I don't have a ton of candles to share here with you, honestly, because I had quite a few candles that came into me um, for PR about a month and a half ago. And so I wanted to make sure that I burned through a lot of those candles and formed some thoughts to be able to share with all of you guys. And to be honest, there's just been so much newness that came in that I've been trying a little bit here and there. And some of these candles burn faster than others. You guys know how it is with the different candle brands. So today I just wanted to share with you what I actually did finish up in the month of September. A couple of these candles I have dedicated reviews on and a couple of others um, I never got around to doing my dedicated review. So I think that this is a good time for me to share with you how a candle performed for me. A quick welcome to any new viewers. Hi, I'm Katie. I like to talk about home fragrance and a little bit of beauty here on my channel. If you want to stick around for more of my content, please make sure you hit that subscribe button before we get out of here. But let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and talk about the candles that I finished up. So the first candle that I finished up, I actually put a dedicated review up of this. I want to say about a week and a half ago when this released on the Slotkin & Co website. This is part of the Homeworks Gather Collection. This is Moldberry Cobbler. The fragrance notes on this are mold berries, raspberry jam, spiced maple, and cobbler crust. Now, as you can see, this one burned pretty well for me all the way down. There is no soot. There was no issues with the wicks. In fact, this was a candle I didn't even have to trim the wicks. Now I do extinguish my candles using a wick dipper. So I do notice that if my candles start to feel like they're going to be leaning or anything like that, I'm always able to just put them right back up into place after I extinguish the wicks in the wax. So that's not really an issue for me, but this one performed really, really well for me. Now this is a fragrance again that I do have a dedicated review on. So I would point you to that review if you want more details about how this one performed for me. I would say that this fragrance was around like, what did I, I feel like I'm trying to say like on my review, I feel like this one was around like a seven. It wasn't a powerhouse. It wasn't one that was going to knock you off of your socks when you walked in, but this is a really nice fragrance that is, um, I don't feel like it would cause any kind of headaches. It's really nice to burn during any kind of fall gatherings, whether you're having people over for football games or you want to set this one aside for Thanksgiving if you're here in the United States. I feel like this is a really nice fragrance that encompasses this time of year. The mold berry note is the most dominant to my nose. The berry fragrance is very similar to the one that is used in the triple berry pie. However, I feel like this one is deeper, definitely with those mulling spices in here. The crust note was not as present to me as I would like. I wish that that, that note would get upped a little bit more. So maybe when they, if they bring this one back next year, they could go ahead and do that. But, um, yeah, this was a very nice fragrance. It, it burned beautifully for me all the way down. And I would recommend that one if you see it on the Slatkin & Co website or if you find it out in the wild at, say, Marshall's Home Goods at TJ Maxx. Another fragrance that I feel like paired nicely with this one is the Peanut Butter and Raspberry Jam. Now you think like, that doesn't sound like it would be a good pairing. Well, it's because the Raspberry Jam note or like a chord is also present in that berry cobbler candle. The fragrance notes on this are peanut butter, raspberry jam, caramelized sugar, and vanilla bean. Again, this is a candle that I do have a dedicated review on. As you can see, this one burned, I mean, really all the way down. I did not have any issues with it. This one I would say was around, I would say like maybe a six in terms of strength and throw. Now the difference between this one and that mold berry one, they are different fragrances. I did have a couple of you ask me and say like, hey, are they too similar or are they different? Yes, they are very different. 
This one, you get that salted note of like a peanut butter accord, although I wouldn't necessarily identify it as peanut butter. If I were to walk into a house and just smell this candle, I wouldn't be like, oh, that's peanut butter. Um, I actually, the raspberry jam note to my nose doesn't really come off like a summertime raspberry to me. It comes off more almost like cranberry to my nose, N not as tart, but like a, it's just, there's a sweet and berry note with it um, that I really, really like. Um, something about the combination of this, and I said it in a review, reminds me of, and I mean this in the best of ways, like the plastic toys that we used to get in the 80s, like the late 80s, early 90s. I was born in 1984, so um, I just remember a lot of toys like smelling like this. But I really, really like this one. Again, it was a good performer, not as strong as the Moldberry Cobbler, but still a really nice fragrance that you could probably get in increased strength and throw from if you were to pop it into a hurricane. And I will go ahead and throw in the other candle that I think this is why I burned through them so quickly because I felt like this was a really nice trio. Harvest Leaves, we all know this is a returning favorite. I feel like this has been part of the collection almost every year that Hallmarks has been around. There may have been a year or two hiatus where it wasn't available. The fragrance notes on here are Spiced Pumpkin, Mandarin, Cranberry, Fir Balsam, and Apple Wood. Uh, spoiler alert, you might see this one in my uh, in a future ranking video, but this candle is so good. Now it's funny, I, we're at the end of it. Again, we've got this cranberry colored wax that went all the way down. This one burned very cleanly and beautifully for me. I will say that this particular candle, it's kind of interesting. The first two burns on it was not very strong and I was thinking, oh no, I got a dud. Like it was only maybe like a strength and throw of around a four. And I was like, no, I love harvest leaves. It can't do that. I will tell you on the third burn, it picked up tremendously. And after that, I had no issues with it. Again, it was about a, a seven on the strength and throw. Also forgot to put, point this out for you guys. When I talk about the strength and throw of a candle, I want to let you know kind of the, if we're talking in the name of science here, my home is approximately 1700 square feet. It is a single story ranch style type of home. I have open concept in my living room, kitchen, the bedrooms obviously are more closed concept. I have very high ceilings in my living room and I also live in Arizona. So we are still running the air conditioner, which I know can affect a candle's, you know, throw there, its projection, how strong you can smell it. Those kinds of things do factor in. So I do want to let you know when I'm giving like a ranking of how strong this was for me, keep all of those factors in mind. But this one, did perform really well for me. I would say overall strength and throw of about a seven for this one. I've said it many times. I think gone are the days where um, Hallmarks is going to be a 10 out of 10. And quite frankly, I, I don't necessarily want my candles to be a 10 because I have a lot of friends and family members who are a little bit sensitive to fragrance. And so I don't want them to be like smacked in the face when they come into my house. I don't want them to have a headache. I want them to come over and enjoy themselves. And so for me, I'm actually pretty comfortable. My sweet spot is usually about an eight in terms of strength and throw, but this one was pretty good. It could be up about another notch, I think, but overall a candle that I would recommend year in and year out. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get to candles that are, um, two of them I feel like are new releases. And then one has been around for a couple of years, and um, yeah, I, I, I want to share my thoughts on them. I totally intended to get around to doing dedicated reviews on them and then time just did not permit. If you're new here, I have three kids and a husband and I've just had a lot of life going on recently. So we're just trying to get through it all right now, okay? Palo Santo Pumpkin, this is a new release from Homeworks. Now, if you're looking at this right now, it's because I am almost done with this. I probably have maybe one or two more burns that I will be able to finish up using this candle before I leave on my, on my trip. The fragrance notes on this are Palo Santo, Pumpkin Puree, Cinnamon Stick, and Suede Wood. Now, if you've caught any of my videos talking about this one already, I will tell you that the pumpkin note is not really most dominant to me. What I smell in this is the Palo Santo, which is described as a holy wood grown in South America. It's used in a lot of um, indigenous ritual, ritual, uh, rituals, words, sometimes they're hard. Um, there's like an earthy smokiness to this that I describe as it's not firewood smoky. Like it's not like you're sitting by the fire and it's smoky, but there's, um, there's just like a mysteriousness about this. It's resinous. 
woody, not fresh woody though. Like this is very, like there's like a sweetness to the woodiness. I really, really, really like this fragrance. Um, it's a good one. I, I will definitely be looking to pick up another one. I may burn another one this season, which actually says a lot for me. I'm kind of pulling back the curtain a little bit for all of you guys. I typically buy one fragrance per candle in a season because I just have so many that I'm usually having to review and I'm starting to like variety. I want to be able to give you guys a lot of feedback. So what I mean by that is that like all of these candles that I burn through, I'm probably not gonna burn through another fragrance in that same one in the same season. So like, for example, I'm not gonna pick up another Mulberry Cobbler and burn it this season. I've already burned it. I've gotten my thoughts about it. I have too many candles in my collection that I need to get through and I actually do enjoy them as well. So that's just a little thing about me. But if I say that I'm going to pick up another one and contemplate burning it this season, that should tell you how much I love the fragrance. The only thing that I will say about this one in terms of the strength and throw, it varied. This one was around, at its most, it would be a six for me. Again, I would like this one to be an eight. Sometimes this candle was more of like a four and a half, five. Other times it was like a seven. And, and I couldn't, and it wasn't really consistent. I felt like, you know, it started out like the first burn wasn't strong. Second burn was really strong. Third burn, it wasn't strong again. It was just like I was on a roller coaster with this one. But regardless, if I can get this on a good enough sale, I would go ahead and repurchase it. If you find it at any of your discount retailers, I would say, yes, go ahead and get this one because it's a really nice fragrance, I think, particularly for fall evenings. Um, my husband really likes this fragrance. I lit it predominantly in the bedroom and he really liked that one. So yes, on and on about that Palo Santo pumpkin, but I really like it. All right, here's a candle that Homeworks sent to me. If you guys are new here, I am an ambassador for Homeworks. This video is not sponsored by them. A couple of these items were sent to me in PR, but um, all of the opinions are my own. And I do have a discount code with them at the Slatkin & Co website. My code is Katie's Joyful Life. That will save you an additional 10% off any orders over $40. Some sales they do allow you to combine ambassador discount codes with. Other ones they don't. Um, I believe that there's, I don't know if there's still currently a sale going on when this video is scheduled to go up, but um, you know, you just, you can try putting it in and see if it'll let you take it. If not, it's not the end of the world, I guess. I, I Honestly, if it's not letting you take the code, it usually means that there's a better sale, but occasionally they do allow you to combine them. And so, you know, there's a little bit of extra coin. We could all use some extra money with the price of everything these days. All right, so getting back to the candle, this is Possessed Plum. Now, honestly, you guys, this is a candle when they sent it to me, I was like, I don't think I'm gonna like that one. Like, first off, it's kind of like spooky Halloween vibes, although it's more like cartoonish, so it doesn't really bother me as much. Like the the um, labels on the Halloween collection for Kringle, some of those are just straight up demonic and I, I can't, like I, I can't do those. But this, I was like, okay, I can deal with this. I actually thought of my cousin Desiree when I got this candle because she loves this color combination of um, purple and black. But anyways, the fragrance notes on this are black plum, wicked cherry, spellbinding incense, and patchouli. So again, fragrance notes that if I were just looking at that on the website, I would not have been interested in. However, you guys, I burned this one all the way down and I liked it. <laughs> I actually really like this one. This is one that I, I, again, I'm not going to repurchase this season, but if it were to make a comeback next year, I actually would contemplate picking this up. Now, this is a really nice fragrance. If you are maybe wanting to switch it up from the apple, pumpkin, leaf type of fragrance, you want something, maybe a different fruit, a different darker fruit. This definitely, I do smell the plum and a tiny bit of cherry in the background, but the cherry is not like cough syrup cherry. Uh, this is a very deep, kind of dark. I see why this is marketed as a Halloween candle. Um, it's slightly perfumey. So the only thing I would say is that this one, it's a little bit difficult to burn this one and have it complement other fragrances. So typically I like to burn two, sometimes three candles at once throughout my home. And I like the fragrances to complement one another. And I found that this was a fragrance that it, I kind of had to um, stretch my brain a little bit to think like what fragrances would blend well with this one. 
the other candle that I finished up did, it blended pretty well with this one. But yeah, there's a, there's a deepness to this. It's kind of mysterious, but it's plum and a little bit of cherry. Uh, you do get a little bit of the perfumey note. I think the perfumey note that I'm smelling in this is actually the patchouli. It's more of the patchouli that you would find in a perfume more than it is like dirty, hippie, earthy patchouli. And I'm sorry if that's like a phrase that offends you. My friend Melanie also uses that phrase when with patchouli we think like dirty hippie, which is just honest, like let's be honest. Can we say things honestly these days anymore without being canceled? I don't know, but um, I don't know. That's, I, I actually like the scent and it's funny, on the last couple of burns, I was burning it in my bedroom and my husband was like, I actually kind of like that scent. He's like, what is that? Like, he's like, I actually kind of like it. So this one did go over well in my household. Also wanted to say this candle was um, probably the strongest one of all of the candles that I burned this month. This was a good eight, my sweet spot. Um, it filled up my living room really well, went into the kitchen, didn't travel around into the bedrooms, but um, I'm okay with that again, because I burn multiple candles at once. This one was really nice. I did not have any issues with the wicks. Now the wicks, I didn't even have to trim on this. They can get a little bit long. So again, I do extinguish my candles with a wick dipper. And when I do that, I'm able to go ahead and just kind of put them back into place. But I didn't have issues with the wicks falling over into this one. Um, it achieved a good pull out right away. So this is a candle that if you've had your eye on it, if you wanna go kind of outside of the box, I would take a chance on this one because it was really nice. All right, and the final candle that I burned through, and I just realized, you guys, all of my candles that I burned through this month were Hallmark's candles, and it's just because I think, again, I was testing so many other ones. I've been burning a lot of Kringle candles too, but you guys know that 100% soy wax formula. It just, it burns slower than some of these like soy blend type of candles, but um, oh well, I guess that's just the way the cookie crumbles this, this month. This is Homeworks Midnight Moon. Now this is a fragrance that um, Homeworks actually did send me this specific candle, but this is a fragrance that I was already familiar with. I purchased it last year. I think it was in a duo from QVC. It was like on a clearance special and I had purchased it and I loved the fragrance on Cold Sniff. However, it was not very strong for me last year and I was pretty disappointed in that because I was like, oh, I really love this fragrance, but it just wasn't performing well for me last year, which I think a lot of us had that experience with Homeworks in 2022. I will say, especially with this round that I'm seeing, it looks like they are starting to figure out some of those issues. Not every candle is perfect. And to be quite frank with you, no candle brand is perfect. Every brand of candles, there are hits and misses that I have experienced with all of them. But I was really excited when they were sending me this one in PR. So the fragrance notes on this are autumn leaves, fresh pumpkin, dark woods, and ginger crystals. Now this fragrance, I'm really glad that I got it this year because initially last year when I smelled it, I instantly thought, and on cold sniff when you smell the lid, you kind, it reminds you it's not the same fragrance, but there's something about it that reminds me of Bath & Body Works leaves. Uh, something about it does, but it's not the same fragrance. I will tell you that, it's not the same. There's an element of this that's a little bit more mysterious, again, because this is a Halloween candle. And the other day when I was burning it, it came to me what I felt like this candle, the best way for me to describe it is. This is like if you took a toned down version of leaves and it had a baby with uh, Homeworks Pumpkin Woods. If you guys remember that scent, it has not returned this year. I, I feel like I had it three years ago and the last two years it came around, I think. Yeah, I did have it last year, but I just haven't seen it come back this year. I feel like this is the baby of those two fragrances because the woodsy earthy note that I'm smelling, I do get a little bit of that fresh pumpkin note in the background and whatever whatever notes they are using to put together the accord of dark woods, I do get that in here. There's an element of mysteriousness, earthiness without it being dirty smelling. It's very, very nice. I love this fragrance. This is one, um, I mean, I see why it's marketed as a Halloween fragrance, but if you are somebody that doesn't really like Halloween, I'm, I'm one of them, I'm not a Halloween girl. Um, I would I would encourage you to pick this one up. If you, if you find it, I, I know I've seen it on the Slack Can & Co website right now. 
This is one that I love year in, year out. Uh, this one did perform pretty well for me. Now I will tell you that the wicks on this one did develop those carbon balls and I did have to trim them. However, it did not affect the candle performance. I would say that this candle was about a seven. Again, if I threw it into a hurricane, I got increased strength and throw on it. The other thing that I will say about this candle in particular, and I don't know why, this one, I burned through this candle in a week, which I feel like I haven't really had that experience with my other Homeworks candles. I don't know if it's something about the oils in this particular fragrance blend, but this one seemed to burn really, really, really quickly for me. Um, yeah, it, it burned really quickly. I don't know, maybe I was burning it more than I burned the other ones because I just enjoy the fragrance so much, but it just seemed to me like, I, I'm like, wow, I went through that one really quickly. I did pair this one with the Possessed Plum. I feel like of all of the fragrances that I currently have in my collection, this one paired the best with that Possessed Plum. It didn't, I wouldn't say that they necessarily complemented one another, but they didn't clash with each other either. So, um, yeah, that's it for my fragrance empties this month. I know it's not very exciting, but I hope that you guys got some information out of that. I know that especially with um, October upon us very quickly, I know some of you may be looking at burning some Halloween candles and there's three in there that I feel like are kind of appropriate with that season. So let me know in the comment box down below, have you purchased any of these candles or burned through any of them? What has your experience been? I always encourage you, you are a member of our candle community. My voice is just one of many here. And the more voices we have chiming in in that comment box down below, we are letting our fellow candle lovers know how candles are performing for us and if they are worth the money. So as long as you remain respectful and kind in those comments, I say chit chat away, let us all know. I want to encourage you to hit that thumbs up video button on this video if you found it helpful. Again, if you're not subscribed to my channel but would like to stick around for more of my content, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I want to say thank you so much for spending your time here with me today. And until my next video, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.